Okay, so the trade ban have just recently been lifted on all the new skins from the armor pass. So I'm gonna show, uh, go through this, and I'm gonna show you which ones to open and which ones to not, and how you can make the most money possible on these cases. First off, I'm gonna start with the heat treated desert eagle. As you can see, there's already almost one hundred thousand of these. It's over nine thousand. And this is just in the first week. It, we can open this for three more months. So this is basically worthless at this point. But the cheapest one is out for three euro. So this is a pattern related skin. So going by the cheapest one isn't reliable in that sense. But you also aren't going to get the best pattern reliably. So just going by price alone, this is already down to 350 euro. The second most opened or sought after skin right now is the M4A1 fade. You can see it's 4000 of these opened already. And if we go by the price, you can see it's already down to 550. And this is, as I've said, this is only after the first week's trade ban has been lifted. There will be a lot of more of these to come shortly. So I believe this will go down way more until they're stable in price. So if you have one of these already, I highly recommend you sell as soon as possible actually, and wait a few weeks and buy it back if you really like it as a skin and you wanna play with it. That's my highest recommendation right now. If you invested in the cases, these are already down to less than one euro. You could sell these yesterday on the Steam market as well, um, I just wanted to, the prices to stable out before I made this video. But if you had them the first like few possible hours, these were selling for a little bit more than two euro each yesterday. So if you had invested in these in the first in the grenade meta, so to say, you could easily have profited from the cases. As of right now, you I do not recommend in buying the cases to sell them. These will drop a lot because this whole pass has been farmed to shit basically. So do not invest in these right now. If you want to invest, I would wait way, way, way longer, buy them off the market as is and don't get them through the pass. But now to my biggest investment tip here is to open the overpass collection. As you can see, the red from the overpass collection, there's only 1,500 of these, unlike the M4 from the other collection. This is more than double, almost, almost the triple amount of the M4s in rotation right now. And as you can see of the prices of the AK, the cheapest one, Battle Scarred, is for 360 right now. And if you go all the way over to field tested and minimal wear, as you can see, there are 700 to 800, unlike the M4 that is around 500. And you can see there's not even a factory new listed at the moment. It will surely come out in a couple of days or hours from making this video. But if you're going for a red, this is the red to go for. And even if you don't get lucky to get the red, if you land on the AVP Krakow, this is actually quite decent as well. Getting a battle scarred right now, like if you already has it and you don't have to sit for a trade hold, you can sell this for almost the exact return of the ba five battle passes if you bought that many. So I would say 100% right now that the Overpass 2024 collection is the way to go for making your money back or even profit some. And I would suggest if you haven't bought the passes already, I strongly recommend actually you don't at the moment because the prices is going to drop heavily. So that's just my thoughts right now. Now people might realize that the M4 is going to be dirt cheap. So they might just completely stop trying to go for this and try to go for the AK only instead. But if you guys were watching this video, you will get that information a little bit quicker than everybody else. So if you like these kinds of tips, subscribe, like the video and stick around for more videos to come. See you guys.